Happy Black Friday, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And today, all of my amazing lady friends, Sierra and also Lindsay. <laughs> oh, where you are. Oh, there you are. <laughs> are going Black Friday shopping. We are going to be showing you guys all of the amazing deals. Plus, there's going to be an absolutely epic haul video at the end of all of the shopping that we are going to be taking you on. So we have already started at Ulta. I did a rookie mistake, left my SD card at home. I have no excuses. It's not like I've been doing this for five years, but whatever, it's fine. Also, we need to know where you're Black Friday shopping. What kind of deals have you gotten into? A huge thank you to our sponsor, fun.com, for providing us our plush turkey sweaters. We've gotten so many compliments on them already, which is so nice. So if you're looking for one of these turkey sweaters, head over to fun.com. I'll link their information down below. What is your turkey's name, Sierra? Benjamin Kaufman III. <laughs> I love it. Lindsay? Harold Winston Littlefinger. It's wow. <laughs> quite a name. And this is Gilbert. Gilbert Gobbler. Pretty simple, but pretty fun. And also, if you don't know who Sierra is, Sierra is my friend. She also is a former cast member. And so she, she loves Disney just yes. like I do. We met, we met through in Instagram. Instagram. Wow. Lynn. Yes, Lynn. Yeah, from Lynn from Lynn Mag Lynn Imagination. Yes. And we also have a very exciting announcement coming in January, so stay tuned. <laughs> and then Lindsay's my friend Hi. forever. I'm how long? I'm just the friend. How long have we been friends? Um, I think four years now, five years. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for, put, thanks for putting up with me, Gal. Cinder <laughs> <laughs> for too long. <laughs> too long. <laughs> also, we're going to be providing you guys a ranking system today. So we're going to be ranking each of the stores based off of deals, based off of overall experience, and also based off of Disney finds because Ulta eight out of ten. Ulta eight. Okay. <laughs> Well, we're going to bring them like in order of all the ones that we go to today. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> number oh, number one. Number because one, it's the first one. <laughs> like, I'm not good at this. <laughs> yeah. Right as you come into Ulta, you are hit with all of these Black Friday sales. There were so many great deals. There were just too many to list. This is one of my favorite deals, 50% off the Spaceship Earth Disney and Ulta Beauty Collection makeup bag. It's so beautiful and it's filled with tons of makeup from the collection. They also have the Disney collab, but the Disney collab is not on sale except for that like Epcot bag that we just showed you. We're headed into Kohl's now. This is our second, our second uh, store of the morning and let's see what kind of deals we can find in here. For those of you unfamiliar with Anchorage, we're at Takatnu Commons, so that's a large shopping center that's outdoor, has a bunch of different stores, like large box stores, and they just put a new Sephora into our cold. Christmas Bake Shop was 24 at Ulta, it's 27 here at Sephora in Kohl's, so looks like some of their deals are just a tiny bit more expensive. I do love these like Sephora finds kits. I think they're so neat with all of the different um, brands in here and the $34 is a really good deal. Fantasia collection is here, but it is not on sale, which is kind of disappointing. There's a couple of Disney items. We've got some big throws. These are so soft. Mandalorian, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. They have a Cars one too. It's Mickey one with a geometric. Oh my gosh, look at Stitch. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's a cute one too. We found the best one. It's rare. So in the plush section, everything's 50% off and look at this super cute little mini. Rogu, he's like a throw. So he's got like a little, oh no, he's not a throw. Oh, sorry. He's just super cute with his little frog. Ooh, and Mickey's here too. Oh, those are super cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mickey's a backpacker. Oh, that's adorable. So oh my gosh. Dear big ones, why are you not making these? This specifically for a king bed. Why? I would totally buy that. Excuse me. We have a Mickey reindeer stocking holder. This is so cute. I've never seen this before. Super heavy duty. Um, it's originally $40 on sale for 16, so 60% 60 off. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna get them? Are you guys gonna get them? Oh my God. 
Okay, Sierra found another thing. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my goodness, look at Mickey and Minnie and Pluto and the little trees. Oh, my Scoofy right there, Goofy. <laughs> They kind of look a little weird. They look kind of funny, but that is super <laughs> duper cute. So they have this Mickey pumpkin on clearance for 70% off. And, oh, <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to, oh, do you want me to put your stuff in there? Is that? Yeah. And then they have this really cute boo sign for 65% off. And we're not sure because it like says 60 and 70%. So we're going to hopefully get a price check and we'll keep you guys updated. But they have all these St. Nicholas Square. I think they're Christmas Village-esque type of things. You've got the carolers. You've got mini Pluto and Fig. Oh my gosh, look at Figaro. And then Sierra was showing me, this is like a letter to Santa with Grogu. And like R2-D2 is like the mailbox. Just so cute. Okay, 60% off. It's Mickey's holiday home, that's super precious too. I just feel like we're missing Goofy, like where's Goofy at? Little Santa Mickey mug, 60% off, I think it's $19. They really have some good Disney stuff here. Okay, puzzle section. So it, these are not marked as like on sale, but these are so, look at this arcade. And then we got Nightmare. And then look at these Thomas Kincaid Christmas puzzles. I love this one. And it, like Daisy's in a puffer coat. <laughs> so cute. And then there's like a more classic like ice skating one. And then, oh yeah, I wanted to show this one. That's really cute too. A little 300 piece puzzler. Adorbs. <gasps> golf, mini golf. Kohl's, I would say number one in Disney find so far. They had a bunch of really great stuff. They also had fall leftover clearance. Although it wasn't marked down more, which I kind of feel like they maybe should have done. Um, but still, at least there was some. And, but I would say overall, I don't think it's better than Ulta. So Ulta's number one in experience. Yes. So something that I want to mention about Kohl's is that everything is always on sale there. So it's kind of hard to tell what's a good deal or not. So that's why I don't think it would rank very high in the deals because really the only thing that we were kind of determining was if it's 60% off, we thought it was a good deal because usually everything is like 30 to 50 anyway. So mm, it's kind of hard to determine, but I got a bunch of really cute stuff from there. Like really we made it to Burlington. So Burlington has been having so many great Disney finds. Let's see if they can outdo Kohl's. I'm not sure if they can at this moment, especially for um, holiday items. So we'll see. Lindsay's here. <laughs> so really the only new thing that I have seen are these stackable cups. That is so cute with stitch there. And those run $16.99. So I will say if you watch like my TikTok and my Instagram reels of Burlington finds, I'm always finding great things here at the Burlington and Anchorage and there's really not a whole lot. So for us, I think I'm going to rate all of this completely last on all categories. Heading into Target, I have a feeling that this is going to be probably one of the best overall deals and overall experiences. I just reparked the car because the other parking lot was a lot smaller and because of that we had to park really far away so I was able to get a much closer parking spot and actually Sierra and Lindsay are already inside Sierra is on a mission today for her she really wanted to get a new air fryer so she found a deal that she wanted specifically at Target so I sure hope that she got it so we're gonna go inside and see if she was able to get her number one Black Friday deal got the cart Gilby's Gilby's perching he's just having a really nice time Getting ready for Black Friday. Okay, let's go find Sierra. Let's in Bullseye's Playground, my favorite part of Target. Look at this. They have a paint by number and it's Golden Girls. They also have Friends. Oh my gosh, they have Schitt's Creek, Ted Lasso. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. These are $3. What a fun gift for someone in your life that like loves like things like that or loves the show or what have yeah. you. Lindsay found her favorite show, The Office. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. What a cool gift. Couldn't find Sierra, but we immediately went to the hats. Guys, look at this hat. It's like an up slash Andy's room style. 
and it's a beret and it's so soft it's $15 it seems like it might be on sale so it says like 40% off of outerwear and accessories but I don't know if that's like including that and then I mean we love a lot so so I feel like we're gonna need this one too. Okay, we found her. What'd you get, girl? I got an air fryer, a Ninja Foodie air fryer. Two baskets for uh, $119.99, $80 off. Yeah, that's a super good deal. Yes. All of the Amazon devices were buy one, get one free. There was so much selection. And basically everything is on 50% off, which is crazy. That's such a good deal. So we're always looking for good board game deals and so we made it to the under $30 section But I just have to say like it says cards against humanity family edition. Has it not always been family friendly? Like that. So this is I guess Nick Jonas supports it, but it's like a trivia <laughs> game and listen to this question What are provolone Swiss and mozzarella? Cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we should get that we would win that game <laughs> 12 and older <laughs> Fresh up on your cheese facts, y'all. Offended by this. <laughs> Putting rollers in your hair makes it go what? Curl? Yeah. Wow. But wait, You're a wait, but like it's gotta be there's gotta be more. No. Oh, there is. Yeah, so it's all those questions like equal the last thing. So these all have like a commonality. Oh, like okay. cheese, yeah. Cheese fries. Well, well guess who's the idiot here? <laughs> Perfect. She's come full circle, friends. She's come full circle. Okay, pop it in. Let's get it. <laughs> what is that? What is it like your coming, coming around story or something? I would like to publicly apologize to Nick Jonas for Lindsay's behavior. 30% off holiday socks. It's pretty. They do have a ton of Black Friday sales on games, but like none of the games that we like we really want. <laughs> Wait, Marvel Uno? That could be fun. That could be kind of fun. The Ultimate Uno, a new way to play Uno where each player becomes a Marvel hero with their own unique deck. Other players and unexpected Marvel villains will team up team up the takedown and when you're down to your last card, don't yell a symbol, yell Uno. Interesting. That could be fun. Are we smart enough to play this? To play Uno? God, I hope so. Like, <laughs> Hey, you know what? You know what? It's okay if we're not, okay? It's okay if we're not. You guys, this game is on sale. It's the best game ever. It's like the only game that like Sierra, Matt, and Lindsay and Jesse and I play. Oh my gosh, another fabulous game. And this game is so stunning too. It's on sale for $17.49. Oh, so many good Funko games are on sale. Am I sitting on the floor? Yes. Am I going to find Baymax? Maybe. Okay, so we're looking for Baymax. We're looking, we're looking for Baymax. We're looking for Baymax. Come on, Baymax. Oh, nope. I need Baymax on both. I seriously come to Target all the time just to try to find Baymax in both cutie cuff and squishy. I call them squishy cuffs. They're not squishy, but you know what I mean? Like the, um, the squishy version of the um, cutie cuff company, this guy. What are these called? The squishums. Yeah, so I've been trying to find Baymax in both and like I can't find it. It's so frustrating. So I go like multiple times <laughs> during the week because Target's so close to my office. Mm. And how I know is because some of them are white um, boxes, which you can really easily see into, but like these holes you can see very well into. So you can see like pink in there. This is definitely Lotso and that's how I found Lotso last time. So this is not on sale, but this is on the list of things to buy. This is the magical world of Disney trivia with 2000 questions, ages six and up. It looks like such a cute game. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but I did want to add it to my game collection. So I'm like totally fine with it. Have you guys played this game? I'm curious. I know a lot of you guys are really big, like avid board game players. So if you have, I'd love to know what you think about it. So although a little bit off subject, I'm like really trying to find a good um, couple of things to add to my small world shelf this year because I need some fillers. And aren't these like so Mary Blair? Oh my gosh, these are so Mary Blair, so pretty. 
So I got these and then I also got, they have like angels and I got each one of the angels that are here and they each say a different saying. Oh, they're so cute. These are not on sale, but I just think they're perfect for what I'm looking for. Whoopsie. How did this, how did this happen? I'm taking a short break at Starbucks. It's pretty busy here in Target. But as far as Disney, I would say it ranks in the middle of all of them, or maybe at the lower half. There wasn't a ton of Disney stuff, guys. Um, but overall deals, I think this is number one here. Just because of your purchase, oh, yeah. right? That yeah. That's a really good purchase. Mm -hmm. And then we also got like some generic, like pretty decent deals. Like I got that um, Amazon like home device for $50 off, which is like such a good deal. So I think deals, it was good. And then I would say, I still think Ulta was the best experience. It was just so fun. So that's gonna rank number one. And then I will put Target second. Always get the, like my favorite holiday drink is the iced sugar cookie almond milk latte, but I sub oat milk because I can't have almonds and I love, I'm obsessed with it. So what is your holiday? Do you have a holiday Starbucks drink that you're obsessed with? Let me know down below in the comments and maybe we'll be drink twins. Mm. And who doesn't love a drink that has sprinkles? Crazy people. Oh, and I will say, fun, just shout out about these sweaters. Everyone is living for all of the sweaters that, that we're wearing. People love them. We've been stopped so many times. <laughs> so many times. We've been telling people that there are emotional support turkeys. <laughs> The sun is kind of coming up, and so now you can finally see the mountains. It's very, like, cotton candy-esque. But this is the Chugach Range on the outside part of Anchorage. It's so pretty. We've made it to Michael's. Hoping to find some things for the Disney Christmas display. Some fillers and some fun extra things to make it more festive this year. Update from Michael's, it seems like there's some pretty decent deals and almost everything regarding Christmas is like 60% off, which is also good. But Michael's also always has a lot of sales. So again, it's kind of one of those things that's like hard to tell. We made it to the back of the store where they have 90% off, which I don't know if that's like a Black Friday thing. It's probably not, but they have a ton of um, fall and Halloween stuff. I mean, let's be honest, buy one, get one free glitter. I think that this might win for the deals. So if anyone has any um, suggestions for like a part-time job or, you know, anything along those lines, just leave a comment down below uh, to support my um, Black Friday habit. So, yeah. All in the cart. We just finished up at Michael's. I mean, everything was on sale, which was nice. And we had an amazing cashier. She was like the funniest lady ever. So I think our experience there, I think it like goes above Ulta because she was great. And then um, as far as deals went, I think it's kind of middle of the road. I don't yeah. know. You got an amazing yeah. deal. I got a painting for $2. Originally $22.99. Yeah, that's crazy. It was so good. She, so she, it was like part of the 90%. And then we got these little mystery ornaments. And so we're going to be going ahead and opening these guys in just a moment. So Sierra and I got the princesses. Princess. And Lindsay got Nightmare night for Christmas. Nightmare. Aww. Very fitting. But here are all the different options that you can get. Not sure if it's going to focus. I want Ariel is the nightmare options that you can get. All right, let's see what you want. Which, which one did you want? Belle or mm -hmm. Gold? Mm, I want only Ariel. I will literally. <gasps> did you get it? I got Belle. Oh my God. <gasps> Yay! Oh my God. Nailed it. Oh, I was going to steal that. Oh my gosh. How did I get that? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to steal that one. Wait. And then Sierra got Belle. Oh, and then, Jack. oh my gosh, oh, this is so perfect. You look so weird. And though. then <laughs> Lindsay got Jack. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my so god. Weird. Yeah, they look a little like. Oh my 
we love it. Yay, we got the So Lindsay's leaving us, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Hey, babe. <laughs> With your strong hand. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> Same. We attempted to go to Chili's, but there's a 45 minute wait. So we put our name on the wait list and we came to the infamous Auntie Anne's. It's not Mickey pretzels, but it's going to have to do for now. Yeah. Yeah. Sierra said that she needed more carbs. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We didn't have enough carbs yesterday. We had to, we're, it's good to carb load for back Friday. That's what we're saying. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting the pretzel bites with pepperonis. They were actually super good. With a side of plastic cheese because you can't have pretzel without plastic cheese. We've made it to my most favorite store ever. We're at Box Lunch. Everything is buy one, get one 50% off. And it's already started because I found this super cute Stitch and Angel. Um, little zipper pouch and it is adorable. I am obsessed with this Chippendale. This is so cute. Winter Wonderland and it does have a Disney World 50th on the top. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. These sweaters are everything. They are the princess sweaters. Oh my gosh. I love these so much. If I mean, shocker. I'm 100% getting Ariel. And then they also have more down here, but like they have the sidekicks embroidered. Oh yeah, so there's Miko and there's Flit. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So they have a new Ida bag here and it is the up house. It's so pretty. It's got like holographic elements. And then if you open the door, there is little Russell in there. So you get like a pin and then on the back is like, little baby Russell and baby Kevin oh my gosh I love this okay it's 90 okay our universe is making the most incredible bags look at the details of this yeah this bag it's so pretty okay I've never seen this before but look at the Encanto candle and you got the flame that is so Goodness sakes! Look at that smooching. Naughty. <laughs> Always amazing Disney finds. Obviously the best. <laughs> so that's gonna be number one overall experience. Also love. I'm gonna give it second place though because I feel like it's an unfair advantage because everyone there knows me and everyone's so nice and so helpful. And then deals, everything was buy one, get one 50% off. So I'd say that's probably second place next to Target. Made it to Hot Topic, and there are so many cute Disney bags. I love this. Oh, it's so hard to zoom in. But anyway, the Her Universe, Mickey and Minnie, Snow, you know, Snow Angel. I love that. But then this bag is so adorable. I'm obsessed. And then this bag, where they're gingerbread men. They just have too many cute bags. Oh, look at the snacks bag. Oh, that's so cute. They do have a really cute stitch lounge fly bag as well. And then this Merry Mischief game. I've never heard of this game before. They have all these Christmas window clings. Mickey and Minnie, and then Pooh and Friends, and then Lilo and Stitch. These are so cute. $8.90 each. I am loving that they turned Jack, Sally, Zero, all of the nightmare characters into gingerbread. They always have such an epic nightmare area here in Hot Topic. Finished up at Hot Topic and they didn't really have very many deals. I'm gonna rank it pretty low when it comes to deals. The experience was good in general, so I'll put it like middle of the road. And then as far as Disney goes, they actually had a really good selection and it's it was much better than we've previously seen at Hot Topic. So I'm going to put it again in the middle of the road. We're getting ready to head over to Aerie, but in the meantime, I want to show you what I'm looking at because I swear to you, this mall looks like a movie right now. Look at this. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've gotten you present that I put under the tree tomorrow it is Christmas the first for you we had all
all of my favorite underwear at 10 for 35, which is such a smoking deal. If you haven't gotten on the airy bandwagon for underwear, I would highly suggest it because it's like changed my life. Every person that I've talked to about it totally been completely changed by these underwear. They are so wonderful. So just throw that out there. If you're in search, they're the place to go. Hope you are ready for an insanely epic haul video because it starts right now. So we went to so many different stores. We ended up spending a total of, I believe, nine hours shopping yesterday. So today is the day after Black Friday. And I'm going to try to go in order of the place that we shopped because I think that that would be helpful. And I am going to place chapters. So chapters are going to be your timestamps. So if you want to see a certain portion of the video, I will leave it down in the description box and it will also be li linked here for you. You can kind of slide your mouse across if you're interested in one particular uh, store rather than another. So we've got to get started. This is no joke. Grab a drink, grab a snack. Let's do this. We're going to start with Ulta. So Ulta had probably the best deals. Target had really good deals, but in different ways. If you're a big makeup person, Ulta had some insanely epic sales on some higher end uh, merchandise that I was just like so very, very excited about. A lot of it was 50% off, which was incredible. And so if I know the price, I will put it on the screen for you, but I'm gonna go through and show you what I got. So we are gonna start with Too Faced. So I ended up getting the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump Lip Gloss. I've never used this before. This is so adorable. It's in the shape of a little gingerbread girl. And on the back, you can see there's the product there. And then I also got the Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my most favorite mascara in the entire world. And it's travel size, which I love. So I'm actually going to be using this on my upcoming trip because spoiler alert, I'm going to Disney in less than five days. So I need to make sure to pack this, but I'm gonna put this one on my Christmas tree to give to myself as a Christmas gift. These were both $12. And if you have used this, I would love to know what your thoughts are. I've never used any like plumping um, lip gloss before. And so I'm very interested to see what you guys think of that. Next, I love NYX Longwear Lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. I can't recall the shade exactly that I'm wearing but they had a loud pout lip kit that is a $20 value for $15. It's in this stunning red color and red is the color that I use the most as you've probably <laughs> recognized from the videos. I just love a red lip, but this has a lip liner and a lipstick that's long wear with the gloss. And I was like, yes, I have been in need of a red lip pencil. So it was kind of perfect that these came in a little duo. So this one was $15. I don't have an excuse use for this. I just honestly do not. Um, this was not on sale, but I fell in love with the coloring in this. This is the Urban Decay Robin Eisenberg palette. Here is what it looks like. And then when you open it, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. I'm going to try to like move the mirror so you can actually see, but look how stunning these. I just thought I fell in love with these blues. I thought they were so lovely, especially this one here. Let me show you. Oh my gosh. Look at that pigment. And so, yeah, I just really, really like this palette. It was $54. It was way too expensive, but um, my birthday is in a few days and Christmas is coming up and my husband and I just don't buy each other Christmas presents anymore just because we buy everything we want anyway. So I just bought what I wanted and that's... That's my excuse. I broke the cardinal rule of, of Black Friday and that is to not buy something that's not on sale. So you'll probably see a trend. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably see a trend. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I got the mascara duo. So this is the better than sex mascara duo. My favorite mascara in the entire world. It is uh, two full sizes for $36. They are usually, I think, $28 a piece. Amazing deal. I might actually get another one of these because I live and breathe for this product. I will always stand by it. And if you're looking for an amazing mascara, you can't get any better than this. Go get a duo pack because you'll, you'll want to use it again. And I blame Erica from um, Erica Dio over here on YouTube because she got me hooked really badly on that mascara. She's like, I promise you, you're going to try it and you're going to fall in love with it. And 100% I absolutely did. So I love ColourPop. You guys probably know that about me. I just love ColourPop palettes. 
Now, they had 50% off of select palettes. One of them included Stone Cold Fox. This is more of their taupe palette, and I do feel like these tones match my skin so perfectly. This is like a dream for like a palette that I can wear to work. How stunning is this palette? Oh my God, I love it. Um, and so I am definitely gonna get a ton of use out of this. And I think that this is probably gonna be my everyday regular. I was using another ColourPop palette. I believe it's called like Take Me to Malibu, something along those lines. That was my everyday palette, but I have used it to death and it is almost dead. So time for me to move on. I also got the Your Golden palette. And this one is just a little bit more dark. It's got more shimmers. It's got more colors as well with that really nice icy blue and also that other blue accent and the dark blue here. Um, and so this is pretty awesome. This is like kind of like the going out palette. The other one's kind of the work palette, which I love. And these are just such usable colors. And that's what I love about ColourPop is that's a really safe bet for finding um, colors that you can use in your day-to-day -day life if you don't want to have like really crazy extravagant makeup every day because I can't really wear that type of makeup to work. Now this palette again not on sale. Um, I don't have any excuse other than I wanted it and this is their Truly Madly Deeply palette. I got it because of it's for the pressed glitter. I love ColourPop's pressed glitter and look at those three shades right in the center. Oh my gosh they're so stunning. I am obsessed with a little bit of glitter um, just to elevate my eye makeup just a little bit so I ended up getting this one as well and I have makeup to last me 10 years. Um, so here we are. Next, I got the Too Faced Christmas Bake Shop. So this was $24, guys. What was wild about this is it comes with three palettes with a blush, as well as a travel better than sex mascara. And I just couldn't believe how inexpensive that, like in comparison to what you would normally pay specifically. I mean, I paid $12 for a travel, uh, a travel mascara. Ooh, that means I can use the, oh yay, okay, I can use that little snowman one for my tree and then I can use this one on my trip. Okay, so here it is. Here's what it looks like outside of the package. So here's the little travel mascara and I'm gonna show you the wand just in case you're curious. That's what the wand looks like. And then these palettes are so adorable. I love the packaging of them. I thought they were so cute. So we're gonna start with the little gingerbread palette. And these are kind of made, it kind of looks like you could use this as like a single gift for someone because it's got a to and from on the back, which I thought would be such a cute idea for like giving it to like girlfriends or like, you know, people in your life that love makeup. That's a super cute little gift. And for only 24 for three of them, such a great deal. And then you can keep the mascara for yourself because you're gonna want that. So here is the gingerbread. So pretty, look at all those like lovely browns. And they have really, really cute names too, like Weird Dough. <laughs> that sounds like something I would say. Missile Toasted, you'll love it. Baking Spirits Bright, Make It Reindeer. Ah, Make It Reindeer. Get Baked, Cinnamon Bunny, Oh Ginger Snap. <laughs> Missile to oh I said that, and then Slay What. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Yes, I love this. And then this one is really cute packaging too. This one is your like cookies, like chocolate chip cookies. And then, oh, this is so pretty. See, like beautiful wearable colors. This would be great to take on a trip actually because then you wouldn't have to necessarily pack um, too many other things other than this, maybe a little bit of blush. So we have Take Whisks. <laughs> I love a good pun. Catching Fillings. Sweet on Santa, truth or dear? <laughs> Who did this? Doe MG. All the jingle ladies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Round of the claws. Chocolate chip. Okay, that's the normal one of the group. And then resting wish face. Too faced. I'm obsessed. I love this. Okay, next. We have the Too Faced Sugar Cookie Palette. I live and breathe for this packaging. These colors are so pretty. This I love, I, I, I love, I love, I love, I love. Let me show you the inside. Here are the colors, all your little pastels. This color in particular, I tried on the, at the store. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. 
It's so pretty. So we have Maids and Milking, Sugar Bells, Meant to Be, Claws a Stir, Go Elf and Wild. <laughs> nice package. <laughs> Treat your elf. It suits you. And that's the black. Oh my God, stop it. And then Elfed Up. This is so cute. I love that for $24 for all of those. So fun. Such a good like gift giving type of item too. And I love that little extra mascara. Now this I bought because this was not available during the time when I did the makeup review for the Disney World and Ulta collection collaboration. So if you're interested in seeing that full review of that makeup, I will link it above and also down below for you if you're interested in checking that out. But guys, they had the Spaceship Earth makeup bag and this is so beautiful look at the outside it's got like a really nice white iridescent shimmer it looks like spaceship earth i bought this for display purposes only i'm probably not going to be using this but it's so adorable it is so so adorable and then let me show you oh yeah so it does have little like second star to the right stars for the zipper pulls let me open this for you guys this was 20 dollars on their Black Friday sale, which I thought was such a good deal. When we open it, look what is, like this is insane. $20 for all of this. So check this out. So you have number one, the mirror is so pretty. It has all of the different um, emblems for each of the parks. And then look at all of the makeup that comes with it. You've got a face palette, you've got eyeshadow palettes, you've got several lip glosses. You have, I think these are lip glosses on the side. Oh, I'm sorry, liquid blush and eyeshadow primer. And then also you have the, Oh my gosh, you've got a dual ended shadow stick. Oh, I'm totally gonna use that. Look at those colors. That is so pretty. One is called Frozen Flamingo. One is called Dole Whip. Then you have a dual sided uh, pencil that is brown and black. Could be used for, um, one could be used for eyeliner. One could be used for brows. And then you've got three different brushes. What a super cool, kind of sample palette. I'm very impressed and I want to take the, uh, let me take this out really quick because I want to show you the inside. So the inside is a beautiful lavender color. I think it might have been picking up a little bit white because um, sometimes things come across washed out on the camera. But here's the thing. This is what makes me crazy about this particular collection. Look how pretty and fun these colors are. And if you've watched the video, you'll probably gain an opinion on this collection, but I feel like these are some of the best colors from that collection and they're all together in one tiny palette. And I'm like, why could this have not have happened? You know, where we got more fun and exciting colors for each of the parks. Anyway. Let me know what you think of that particular collection. Also, if you got anything from Ulta during the sale, I would love to know. Let me know down below in the comments. Let's talk because that sale at Ulta was absolutely epic. It was absolutely epic. After Ulta, we went to Kohl's. So Kohl's had some surprising things, some very surprising things. I showed you most of those surprising things, but I'm going to start here. We have a really beautiful Mickey pumpkin. And this one originally is $49.99. I got it for $12 and 49 cents. It's made out of some sort of plastic and the ears are like a grayish green color. So cool. I'm putting away my Halloween display today. So this is just gonna go right into storage for next year. And then they had this really pretty sign. Again, it was a $50 originally. I got it for $17 and it says boo. It's got like the cutest little spider webs with little hidden Mickeys in them. Minnie as the witch and then this plaid that has hidden Mickeys in it as well. I think that this is going to look so beautiful on my display and it is such good quality. I don't know if you can see the details of see the details, but those little hidden Mickeys are actually little pieces of metal, as is Minnie. It's just like a very nice quality, very nice quality sign. And it looks like it was actually made by Kohl's. Like it says Kohl's Incorporated on the bottom. I was trying to find if there was like a certain um, brand or something that like maybe I'm missing because I've never seen anything like these before. But no, it's just Kohl's brand. Next is a really silly, <laughs> it was a really silly purchase. This was 50% off.
and these were um, $5 and I really, really liked them. It's called Big Fish Little Fish Nail Clipper Set, but to me, it looks like mermaids. So I got this for me. I have a little uh, manicure set that I travel with and so I'm gonna put the smaller uh, little, I'm calling them mermaid nail clippers. I'm gonna put the small mermaid nail clippers into my travel and then the big ones into my manicure set that I have here at the house, but I just thought they were really fun. And I don't know about you, but I am always losing nail clippers and it is so annoying. I'm, I'm convinced that there's like a goblin that takes them in my house. <laughs> Next, this guy was 60% off. This is the Mickey Mouse Santa uh, storage tote. I thought this was super duper adorable. It's got these really thick, nice handles. They had one on display. I don't think I got it on camera, um, but this was, yeah, $34.99 originally for 60% off. It's gonna be perfect for storage for Christmas stuff, and I'm excited to be able to use it this year for a little bit of additional Christmas storage. This next item was the fa my favorite item that I got from Kohl's and this is the Mickey and Friends frame and I'm going to be going to Disney World for the holidays and we are leaving in just a few days and I'm going with my mom and my aunt and several of my friends that we are going to be meeting up there and I thought it would be really fun for us to get a group picture and then place it into this frame. How cute is that? So you've got Mickey and Minnie in a sleigh and they have like a little plaid blanket and the sleigh is being pulled by Pluto as a little reindeer. It's got two three-dimensional like actual trees that have like little bristles on them and little uh, Christmas balls and things. And um, this just slides out and you place your picture in. This was also 60% off frame, but I think it is so, so cute. So we are gonna move on to our next store. Our next store is one of my most favorite stores. I go to it all the time, and that is Target. So let's start here. I bought a lot of things that weren't on sale, so I apologize in advance, but they had cutie cuffs. I got like eight boxes of these. I just want Baymax. I just want Baymax, y'all. I'm trying so hard. Have you been able to collect all of them? I seriously have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm sorry, nine boxes. And I think I've gotten, I think I've gotten most all of the different characters, but I'm gonna be opening these over on Instagram and TikTok. So if you're interested in seeing the unboxing for these, I will leave my other social media channels down below for you. In the dollar section, I fell in love with this basic jar. This jar was $5 and this is a fillable little stocking hat that looks kind of almost like a snow globe, but I love, it's got that sweater texture kind of around the bottom. It does have a literal poof that is so soft and it does come off and you can place things inside of it. So I've got a very particular use for this and I will probably be talking a lot about my Christmas display as I'm gonna be creating it very, very soon like today. And so this is going on my Tinkerbell shelf and I have some really fun things to go inside it, which you're going to see a little bit later on in the video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I also got this really beautiful ornament that was $3. It says Felice Navidad. And I got this because I'm going to be placing this onto my small world shelf. At some point today, I'm gonna to be taking this into the garage and spray painting it because I really want that shelf to be very colorful and very small world. So this is gonna get a little bit of a DIY makeover coming up very soon. $3 for this ornament. Next, I got a really good Black Friday deal. So my Echo, I have had for, since it came out, like since the very beginning when it first came out. And unfortunately, um, it died. Uh, but it's, uh, to be fair, it's extremely old. I actually think it's like eight years old, seven years old, something like that. Cause I feel like we've had it since we moved into this house. So it finally died. It like loses its Wi-Fi connection constantly. And I've tried and tried to try to fix it and it just is not working. And so I'm like, why am I putting myself through this? And so on Black Friday, that was kind of the one thing I wanted to get was a replacement for my Echo and Target had epic sales. Basically all of their devices, Amazon specific devices were like 50% off or more. Uh, my friend Lindsay ended up getting a Fire tablet for like 70 bucks or something along those lines and it was originally like 149 And so I ended up getting this guy. This is the Amazon Echo. It is just the speaker version that is in the larger like 
black speaker form. The one that I have currently in my kitchen is the tall cylinder form, but I heard that this has really good sound quality, and so I'm really looking forward to having this in my kitchen, just basically so I can listen to music as I'm making breakfast in the morning. Nothing too exciting. <laughs> um, but yes, we are gonna be adding this to our kitchen today. This ended up retailing for $49.99, and it was 50% off, so it was originally a hundred and some dollars to get this echo. So I'm so excited to have an echo back. It's actually been a couple of weeks since I have been able to listen to music in my kitchen and it's driving me nuts. Driving me crazy. Are you those people? Do you listen to music in the morning? I mean, to be honest, the only music I'm actually listening to is the new Backstreet Boys Christmas album. Next, I got these. Now this is a banner that I believe is for New Year's, but this was in the dollar section and I thought what I could do, DIY this to a brighter color and then I wanted to glue this onto like the disco ball-esque thingy itself and place that on display in the shelf. So these were $3. I'm gonna use these for crafting, so I'm gonna deconstruct this and place them into my craft room to use for other things. But I really, really liked the coloration of those and it really does shine in the sunlight, which is nice. Next, I got extra gum. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that was in there. <laughs> okay, so these next items are also gonna be a little bit of a DIY for me as well. I got several berets. I showed you them in the video, the vlog portion. They were 40% off, so I got the black sweater beret. And just so you know what they look like on, they are super, oh my gosh, these are so fun. These are super stretchy and super comfortable. I wanted to be able to DIY them. This one I wanna make into Mike Wazowski. I'd like to put an eye on it. I thought that would be super cute. Maybe do like a monster's symbol on the top. Um, but these are um, originally 15 marked down to nine. We've got the strawberry version for Lotso. And then, excuse me, this is everything. So this could be used for Andy's wallpaper. This could be used for Up. What a super cool beret. I originally was only going to get this one. That was my intention. But then as I thought more and more about it, I'm like, you know what? It's kind of nice to have some basic things and that way if I need to DIY them or I need them for a video, I can. So those are the four berets that I purchased. Telly is my cat, if you're unaware. She is 16 years old and she's obsessed with catnip. And so I got her a little catnip Christmas tree. This is full of catnip. It also makes a noise. <laughs> she's, oh my gosh, she might be coming. I <laughs> Just wait, she's probably gonna come. So um, I think she's gonna love this and we always get her one toy every year for Christmas. She just loves catnip so we just get her a catnip toy. I might get her a new scratcher too, I'm not 100% sure, but I know that she's going to love this. Originally marked $5 and I think I paid like somewhere around $3. Next, I got some ribbon. I just really thought these ribbons were really pretty. Probably gonna use some of these for the decorations that are gonna go onto the Christmas display. I loved that this was like a miniature tinsel. I thought that this is going, I thought that this was gonna be perfect for kind of the smaller areas of my display to actually place that onto. None of those were on sale. Um, both of the larger ones were $6 and this one was $1 in the Bullseye's Playground section. The Bullseye's Playground section. I got a couple of filler Christmas trees because I wanted them for my displays. These are the quote unquote stained glass. I don't know if they're actually stained glass. Um, I'm not sure if they're plastic or not. I haven't taken them out of the packaging. Both of them were $5. I thought they were so pretty. And so those are going to go onto my Christmas display. And then we have like a gingerbread tree and also this really small like neon green tree that I thought was super cute. Both of these were, I believe, oh, this one was $1 and this one was three. Another small blue one for $1. Next, I, um, I got a bunch of really fun ornaments that are for my small world shelf. They had a set of three angels. Each of the angels say a different saying and I thought that these looked so much like it's a small world. They are just so perfect and so cute they have different wings and they also have different signs. These were each $3. And then these little ornaments screamed Mary Blair to me. I got these three ornaments as well. And these will go 
onto the small world section of my display. It's not a goose uh, because I love the geese in small world. If you've seen my vlogs before, you'll know. I thought this swan was so beautiful. It reminds me of the ending scene of small world. And so I decided to maybe just include it. May not be exact, but it is a little, rem a little bit reminiscent of small world we have a hippo i died sierra was like oh my gosh jesse look at this and so she she like threw this my way and i had to get it like it is just way too perfect it's not the exact coloration but it definitely definitely looks like the hippo from small world they also had this which i don't know what they were doing i'm like i feel like this whole area of target was made for small world and it's funny because they had a selection like that last year that was very reminiscent and i just think that this looks like the sun it's got a really chunky like little um thing at the bot like tassel at the bottom and then for the christmas section i also got some glitter snow for my display so i can put some glitter snow onto the bottom of my display and that's all for christmas stuff from target and then i also got this jade gua sha limited edition beauty tool i've seen a lot of videos about how to drain the lymphatic system in your face and i just thought that this was really intriguing and so i'm gonna try it out and see what happens but they had them i believe this was eight dollars my last item from target is this magical world of disney trivia this is a brand new game like brand new they even have questions and trivia questions from some of the newest releases from disney and it was $34 not on sale but the packaging to this is so beautiful look at that what the game board looks like and this game was so much fun we ended up playing it last night my friend Sierra Sierra who you met earlier in the video her boyfriend Matt and my husband and I all played this together we're all different skill sets when it comes to Disney trivia and everyone enjoyed themselves and everyone was able to answer questions. This is definitely one of those approachable games to everyone, even if they're not a Disney fan. So if you are kind of on the fence about this, get this game. I thought it was really great. And they also have, so they have regular cards where you read them, but they also have visual cards for kiddos or for, for other people who may not be as versed in Disney. So it was very, very impressive. Um, how this game was so versatile. So thanks to Disney again for making a fully inclusive type of game. But this is definitely fun for the whole family. I really enjoyed it. We will definitely be playing it again very, very soon. Now we're going to move on to Michael's. So I have a lot of supplies for my Christmas display. So you'll probably be hearing about that a lot. This is a blue frame that I picked up. This is going to be used for the beautiful stitch lithograph that my friend Lisa sent to me um, that has Stitch, Lilo, David, and Nani uh, building a snowman, and David is snowboarding, and it is just such a cute uh, lithograph, and I wanted to get it protected as soon as possible, so that's what this is for. Next, I fell in love with this little Christmas ornament that I just wanted to have for my Christmas tree. It is a little gummy bear and the gummy bear has a little um, sparkly Christmas tree on his tummy. It's so cute. And this was $2. The next item I got was very reminiscent of Small World to me. And so I ended up getting this. This was a um, originally $15. It was $6 on sale. And it is glass. It's very fragile. It almost looks like it's got the tree of life inside of it. It's got these little hands and the world. I just thought it was so very neat and so very small world themed. I swear to you, I'm gonna have to like, I don't know, this entire display is gonna be fully small world. I don't know what happened to me, but like it was all I could think about yesterday. It was so funny. And then next, another small world. <laughs> <laughs> this was also six dollars and I got the little hot air balloon because I love the creepy clowns in the hot air balloon but this one has Santa Claus in it and I thought that was super cute so this is going to be hanging inside of the small world shelf okay and these are um, some fillers for the display as well these were each three dollars and I thought they were so cute originally $7.99 I got this very fun ski ornament specifically for it could work in two different displays so I'm not sure where exactly 
exactly I'm going to put it. I was hoping to make an actual goofy display this year, but I'm not sure I'm going to have enough, uh, enough items for it. So it might go there or it could go in the stitch display as well. This was $2 after discount, originally $6.99. And in the clearance section, they had 90% off. They had this little fresh cider stand. It's like just a regular um, block that you can put on a cheered tray or something along those lines, but I didn't really want to use it for that. So I'm planning on sanding this down and making this a little um, like moonshine jar for my little Disney display shelves for my country bear section because because I thought that would be so so cute like with the little X and it be like for moonshine or something like that so 60 cents well spent I think <laughs> And a fun DIY too. <laughs> I got some fillers. These are actually going to be going inside of that little stocking cap that I showed you earlier from the Target haul. These are the little presents and little um, beads that are going to go in for the Tinkerbell display. And each of those, none of those were on sale, but I did get 20% off my total purchase. So the beads ended up being $3.60. And these little gifts ended up being two dollars per package i got these which are so fun these are the deluxe fillers and i'm going to be utilizing these for my marvel shelf because they looked very much like iron man sierra found these and i was like these are so perfect so these are 5.99 and they were marked down to three dollars and 99 cents we got a couple of these little wooden dolls i was planning on making a couple of small world themed people to place on my shelf. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get these done. Probably not today, but it's going to be an eventual DIY for myself because I really love the idea of the small world shelf, clearly, as you can tell. And so I wanted to make some of those people to place in there. And then they had a really good sale on acrylic paint and I was very much in need of some new craft paint. A lot of what I have is so old that it's not even usable anymore. And so this 24 pack, which has all of those crazy colors on there, which is amazing, was $10. So that was a very, very good bargain for me. And this will very much be used for um, years to come because paint lasts a long time. I got this super cute cactus for the small world display. This one is $3 marked down from $7.99. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have this idea. I've been making faux whip topping. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know, I've got a problem and I have really wanted to make a faux whip topping for a Bambi mug. And I thought it would be so fun to do this beautiful spring mix of sequins. Look at that. Doesn't that look like, this reminds me of like Harry Styles. This is what Harry Styles looks like to me. If you were like, describe Harry Styles. I feel like I could just show this. Is that weird? I don't know. That's probably a weird thing to say. But anyway, that's what it reminds me of. But is that like not so aesthetically pleasing? Ooh, the colors. Oh, I love how ridiculous that looks. I was standing in the garland section with Sierra and she goes, girl, this looks like Ariel. And I was like, oh my gosh, it does look like Ariel. Like, look at this. Um, these are all of Ariel's colors. It's like so beautiful. This is like just a plastic plastic garland. However, I think I'm going to try to do something for Christmas with my Ariel figurines. I have a, I have like three Christmas Ariel figurines and countless ornaments. And so there might possibly be an Ariel Christmas shelf in our future, or I might just display this on the shelf that I already have. Um, I have eight of them, six of them, six of them. Currently, I need eight of them <laughs> to display all of my Little Mermaid stuff. But I figured because I'm such a big Little Mermaid fan that this will go to use in some way, shape, or form. And this was marked down to $6.80 from $16.99. And then last but not least, I got some of this curling ribbon. I got a dollar off of it. It's $3, but I thought this was so pretty. I wanted to put it as filler in the stitch shelf. So that's what this is being used for. And then I ended up getting this really cute little angel bag. Um, they keep charge. I don't know if they do this in your city, but they charge us just for every single bag that we use. I up getting these little beauties. So this was $2.99, not on sale, of course. Oh, did I do some damage? <laughs> did I do some damage? Uh, you probably guessed it. 
my favorite store. <laughs> my all time most favorite store ever. Okay, let's talk about it. So Box Lunch had buy one, get one, buy one, get one 50% off on everything. And I got so many things, so, so many things. And then also they had a flyer that they gave out, which was 25% off of everything. Okay, so for starters, I got six boxes of each of these pin sets. I got this Disney Princess pin set. This is their gingerbread house pin set. I'm hoping to get all of them. This is their ornament pin set. Again, hoping to collect the entire collection. And then last but certainly not least, the Christmas mug collection. So I got um, six of those boxes. I think I might've got a couple of more of some of them, but I'm not gonna go through each and every one. I ended up getting four regular pins. I got this goofy latte pin, which I fell in love with. I thought it was so very cute. Last year they had a Mickey one, and then they also had a mini one this year and a goofy one, and I ended up getting goofy because I love goofy. I couldn't not buy this. Like, I just couldn't not buy it. Guys, it's flipping Stitch with cherries. What? Oh my God. I'm like, I am obsessed with, I love this so much. I think it's so cute. I do have a small pin board that has cherries on it. And so I'm, I'm all about it. So I'm so excited to have that pin. The next pin I was so very excited about too. I'm a huge Little Mermaid fan. They had a Little Mermaid ugly Christmas sweater, which I thought was so adorable. And um, it's got dingle hoppers on it. It's got Sebastian and it's got her um, holding a little seashell and it's got flounder. It's just such a cute, this is so, so, so cute. They had a really fun fireplace pin with Gus and Jacques. I love Gus and Jacques so much and so had to add that to my pin collection. And then they had these super adorable hairpins and I fell in love with them. I got two sets of them, but here's what they look like up close. So you've got a pearl Mickey, which I love that you can wear that kind of any time. Then you have a candy striped hairpin and then you have the ho ho and in the o's you have little hidden mickeys so cute twelve dollars and ninety cents again buy one get one half i didn't stop with the accessories so here are the earrings that i bought they had a two pack of earrings so this has the mini mouse wreaths at the bottom and then the lighted mini mouses at the top with those christmas lights eighteen dollars and ninety cents and then these oh my gosh i fell in love with these earrings. These are absolutely everything. This is $16.90. These are the Nightmare Before Christmas. Super duper cute wreaths, man eating wreaths. And I just thought this was so very clever and so very cute. They did a great job designing these and I was so excited. And they had such a cool display. Like they had the kiosk outside. And in that kiosk, they had super cool Christmas themed Stitch and Angel zipper pouch. And I thought this was so adorable. I want to put this on my display because you very rarely see Stitch and Angel together in snow. I thought that this was so unique and so fun. It is see-through, so you can kind of, yeah, you can see my hand through there. I wanted to put some of the fake snow that I got from Target inside here, so it looks like really bright and icy. And then here on the back, they're having a little snowball fight. This is so very cute, $18.90. I got two tops. The first top I really loved. It's got like this fun color blocking. I thought it would be perfect for the springtime. This is the Mickey and Friends uh, sweatshirt and it's a crew neck and it has all of my favorite guys, Mickey, Goofy, Pluto, and Donald. And it says Mickey and Friends and it's got this really nice like pastel color blocking going on. And this was originally $54.90. And then they have new princess sweatshirts and I was so excited because I had to get my girl Ariel. So here it is, here is the Ariel sweatshirt and it has her signature on the top and then the embroidery is so beautiful. It's got flounder and it's got all sorts of different seaweed and seashells and the pattern kind of repeats 
on the bottom of the sweatshirt itself. I have another sweatshirt very similar to this. That is Winnie the Pooh and also one that is Coco and they are such good quality and they are so comfortable. This one was $54.90. Last but not least from Box Lunch specifically, I'm loving the Our Universe bags that have been coming out. They have been so incredibly impressive. And this bag just spoke to me. I thought it was so gorgeous and here it is. It is the Aladdin pastel, um, I call it the like celestial bag, but I wanna do like a close up so you can see, look at the beadwork on the front of this bag. So it includes a debossing, it has metallic details, plus it's got beading details, which I thought was so neat. Aladdin and Jasmine are in like an alternative pose, which I think is so beautiful. The side pocket features a boo, and then the back, has a really pretty cloud and some stars. And what's really neat, so this kind of opens up like so. I think this pouch would be perfect to put your ears if you're going on a ride. And then here's kind of the basic um, print behind it. And then here is the lining, very celestial, very pretty. It's got like outlines of the characters and everything. I just love this bag. This was originally $84.90, but I got it for 25% off. The next place that we are going to go to is Hot Topic. They had so many fun things, but most of the things that they had didn't really fit my collection. But there was one thing in particular that I just freaked out about, and that was this Funko. This is Guardians of the Galaxy, and this is Drax. If you don't know, Drax is my most favorite character from Guardians. I think he is so hilarious. His humor kills. And so this is for their holiday special. The four individuals that you can get are Star-Lord, Groot, Drax, and the Mantis. Originally, these pops were only available as a group, and I even considered getting the entire collection just so I could get Drax and then get rid of the rest of them, like sell the rest of them. And I'm so thankful that I didn't because I walked right into Hot Topic and he was front and center like waiting for me. So if you don't know, Marvel's Funkos uh, are bobbleheads. And so that's why his head is probably gonna be shaking when I show this to you. So here is Drax. I love him so much. So here he is. He is wearing an ugly Christmas sweater and he is holding a little elf. And so let me show you like the back of him so you can see. So he's got little candy canes. Oh my gosh, his sweater. I didn't even see this. His sweater has a cat with laser eyes. <laughs> he's wearing cargo pants and he's got like little work boots on. I have a full Marvel shelf that I am doing for Christmas and I am ecstatic that this is being added to that shelf. I'm so happy. And something that I just noticed was he actually has a little hole where you can place him on a stand, but his stand was not in his box. Hmm. Oh well, that's okay. I'll make sure that he stands up on the actual display itself, but oh my gosh, I am, I am obsessed with him. <laughs> I am obsessed with him. Are you guys excited about the new special? I can't wait. So the next thing is an exclusive Hot Topic drop for the holiday of 2022. And they had the entire series of Nightmare Before Christmas characters in gingerbread form. And these are exclusive. So they had Jack, Oogie, uh, and they had Zero and Sally. And here he is. I will take him out of the um, box so you can see them a little bit better. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. So here he is. He's like flat like a cookie, which I love. And he just looks like he's made of icing. Oh my gosh, I love this. And you can see like the texture of the cookie on the back. Now, last year they came out with a full line of Marvel characters as sugar cookies. And I have the entire collection and that's going to be going on my display this year. So I was excited to add another little gingerbread to my display because I always have a lot of a Nightmare Before Christmas things on the display so I'm excited to add him to that and the sale there was buy one get one 
buy one get one half off and then also I had a five dollar discount so each of those pops ended up being eight dollars and they were originally fourteen dollars and ninety cents so I got two for sixteen which was a great price the next place we went was H&M we went there for a very specific reason and that was because online we had found this one particular sweatshirt that I really wanted and I ended up getting it for 30% off and then I also had had an extra 10% discount because I'm a member at H&M and so this sweatshirt ended up being $18 and here it is this is Goofy Donald and Mickey and this says Disney edition home for the holidays and I just thought that this was so cute I love that Goofy is front and center and they're carrying the Christmas tree and having the best time and this is such a thick nice sweatshirt I love H&M's sweatshirts I have several of of them and so I was really excited to see that they had a goofy centered one for Christmas so I don't even think I showed you guys that we went into H&M on the vlog itself. And then next we went to American Eagle and Aerie. They gave me a free bag, which was so nice of them. It's like really nice material too. It's like recycled and it says American Eagle. And they also gave me a really nice free gift, which I'll show you in just a moment. I got 10 pairs of underwear. I am obsessed with Aries underwear. I specifically love their thongs. And I'm not going to show you my underwear, but I got 10 pairs. They also have a, I believe this is a new pattern for this year, but this is a bra that I got. It's just like a little bralette. And it's like got this really cool like faux cable knit sweater pattern. And I just think it's so very cute. Um, this was $34.99 and I believe it was 30% off. And I just love wearing this type of thing like around the house with some yoga pants. And so I'm very excited to have this because I was really in need of like a tan casual bra to wear around the house. I also fell in love with this sweater. So this is in sweater form in their store. And it's got Snoopy and it's got Woodstock sledding and which is so cute. And it looks like they're in a dog bowl almost, which I think is hilarious. So these were $12.95 and I believe they were 30% off. But the sweater they had was just like a crop sweater and it was way too short, like way, way, way too short for me. It would have like come like right underneath my boobs. I'm 5'10". So it wouldn't have worked for me and I was so bummed and we were at the cash register and Sierra's like, oh my gosh, they have the socks in that same um, sweater pattern. And so I got the socks and they are so nice. They're a different material too. They feel almost like that sweater did, which is kind of fun. But I was really happy to get at least get that in sock form. And then I am very much in need of one of these. I do not know what they're called. A headband like for um, cold weather. Inside they have the fleece, which I love. And then outside is this really pretty like cable knit pattern. And that just like goes, um, yeah, just like covers your ears, gives you a little extra warmth. And then you can also wear your hair in a ponytail, which I love the capability to do that because I don't love that in a stocking hat you cannot do that. And so I got this because everyone, when we went to Girdwood on that Disney girls trip, which you've, if you haven't seen that vlog, I'll link it above and down below for you. All the girls had one of those except for me and I was like, I want one. So this was $16.95 and it was also on sale, I believe 30% off. And then this guy was 50% off and I really liked this. Again, Aerie also um, is a place that has really, really amazing uh, sweatshirts. And they had this. This is like a black sweatshirt that has a collar, but it also has like this nice zipper. So it's like a, a three, like a, a half zip top or a quarter zip top. It's got these really large cuffs and it's, look how boxy and comfortable that looks. Oh my gosh. This is like the perfect lounge in your house type of sweatshirt. I got it in an extra large and originally $64.95 and then I got that for half price. And because I bought all of the things that I did, by the way, the underwear was buy 10 for $35 and they were originally $8.95 per underwear. So that was a huge bargain. I'm so glad that we were able to get that. And then they had this blanket. They said, oh, thank you for your purchase. Here's a free blanket. And so I got a free $30 blanket. It's super duper soft and comfortable. 
Um, it seems like it's going to be really lovely for the winter season. So um, it reminds me of like a ski blanket, right? Like doesn't it look like something you'd find in like a little ski cabin or something? But I thought that that was a really nice gesture. So we got the free reusable bag and we got a free blanket. Pretty awesome was a lot of shopping and that was a lot of haul. You made it all the way to the end. Be sure to put a little shopping bag emoji down in the comments down below to let me know that you made it. You are the real MVP if you did because that is, that's admirable. This was a long video. <laughs> You'll have to let me know down below which of these items caught your eye. Was there anything that you liked? Did we buy the same things on Black Friday? Also, what was your favorite thing that you got or are you going to be shopping on Cyber Monday as well? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe down below. Lots of more content is coming your way. We're going to Disney World in a few days. Also, I have some other really fun um, tips and tricks content coming out, another DIY, and lots of Christmas videos are gonna be coming your way. Thank you so much for being here. We have an amazing, amazing weekend, and I will see you in the next video. TTFN, bye!